Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie, and today I am going to show you how I took one of Elizabeth Olsen's really cute little styles, in fact, this one right here, and how I recreated it and made it look like this. That's me right there. So be sure to like and follow, and let me show you how I did that. You may or may not know this about me, but I absolutely love fashion. I love looking at different outfits and different styles. And when I came across this outfit that Elizabeth Olsen was wearing, I immediately knew I wanted to recreate it. Now, another thing that you may or may not know about me, but I am an Amazon influencer. So I'm always on Amazon and I'm always finding cute things there. Anything that I found that will help you recreate this outfit, I put all the shoppable links down below. It was a really cute, fun outfit to recreate. And again, I'll show you how I took this and I ended up making it look like that. So this outfit, I decided to start with the plain white button down. It's so easy. It's a plain white button down, but not every plain white button down is created equal. And what I do is I look for one that has some stretch in the material. It's just my thing. I don't like really tight, constricting clothing. As you can tell, I've always got something that's flowing around and this shirt works perfectly. I decided not to button the sleeves. And I did that because I saw this um, street style article and it's called a fly away where you only button one button and you don't button the sleeves. And I really like that look. So I took that look over to this outfit Outfit. And again, plain white button down, just didn't button the sleeves. And now we're moving on to the pants. First thing I noticed about her jeans was the jagged little hem. Instantly, I went straight to my free people jeans that I have on here. They have that straight look like what she has. They don't look like the puddle pants. They don't look super high waisted. So these free people jeans worked perfectly with that. Now, if you noticed, hers are not distressed and mine are heavily distressed. And I say this all the time, and I'm gonna say it again. I love distressed jeans. I That's my favorite style. It's hard for me to find a pair of jeans that don't have the knees ripped out, as you can see right there. But that's just my style. And I also hear all the time like, you know what, I'm over 50, you know, is that an okay style to wear? It's, it doesn't stop me. My age doesn't stop me from wearing my distressed jeans and I think it gives a cute little look to this outfit. So if you want to recreate this outfit and add some distressed jeans to it, go ahead and do it. Tell them I said it was okay and just rock those distressed jeans. Next, I took a look at her shoes and with my powers of deduction, I have determined that those are Doc Martin Chelsea boots. Super cute. They're not platform. They're the regular Doc Martens. What I decided to do for my outfit is I'm wearing my brown Leona boots. Love Leona boots. They are my favorite Doc Martens. Now I did find you a pair of the Chelsea boots, but you know what, truthfully, just whichever pair of brown boots you wanna wear are gonna look great with this outfit. It's more the color than the brand. I just happen to really like Doc Martens, so that's what I'm wearing and that's what I'm showing you. Taking a look at her outfit again, you can see that she's got a nice little pop of red underneath her jacket. And I actually have a red button down cardigan. And I'm like, sweet, perfect for this outfit. Mine is a vintage sweater, I've had it forever. And I'm like, wow, the red just really makes this outfit pop. I have to find you a really cute red sweater, but not just any red sweater. What I wanted to do is I wanted to find you a red sweater that has kind of like, I don't know, a certain vibe. I didn't want it really tight. I didn't want it cropped and I didn't want it too long. So I searched and I searched and I searched and I found you a red sweater that reminded me a lot of my red sweater. I think it's really similar to mine and I really like where this outfit is going. What I wanted to do now is I wanted to experiment with two different kinds of jacket. I wasn't sure if I wanted more of a blazer type fitted jacket over my sweater, or if I wanted a looser kind of trench coat over my sweater with this outfit. So I tried on both. And the first one I'm gonna show you is more of the blazer style. Now this is a raw edged Topshop blazer that I got from Nordstrom's. 
absolutely love their blazers. I think they're amazing. I went back and I took a look at Nordstrom's and I went to Topshop to see if it's available. And unfortunately, this exact jacket is not available there. I did find a couple on Poshmark in case you wanted to look around there. I did find a really cute tan oversized blazer for you and I think this would look really cute with that outfit. But if you're like, mm, no, I wanna see what the trench coat looks like first, let me show you what it looks like with a different coat. I think everybody needs a good trench coat in your closet because you can do so many different things with it. The one thing that I really like about this one is that it's loose and it's flowing and it has the little detail around the wrists. I did find a trench coat for you from Amazon and it had that loose flowy feeling. This one does have buttons, which I think is really cool. The one I have doesn't and I actually would prefer it to have buttons and it had the nice detail around the wrist. So it would look really good with this outfit that we are building for you. Ever since I've been recreating these celebrity styles I've been finding, I'm really starting to notice the importance of sunglasses. Almost every outfit I see, they've got some really cute sunglasses. I found a really cute pair of sunglasses that I bought myself and I wanna show you. I wanna show you them. These are just a really cute little wireframe sunglasses. They're very light and they have a slight cat eye and I really like that about these. And they fit amazing. They fit amazing so much to where, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my sunglass test, all right? Please don't think I'm weird, but this is how I test if a sunglasses fit really good. I will like try to move my head and I'll be like, hey, what? Well, no. And if they don't move, if they're just as comfortable, I know that they're fitting very well. These are the sunglasses right out of the box. I could go on and on and on, but these are really amazing sunglasses. I'm actually gonna buy them in gold. I like them that much because I'm embracing gold accessories. I'm usually all about wearing Ray-Bans, but right now I'm telling you, if you're looking for a cute pair of sunglasses, these are the ones to get. And there you go, I just recreated Elizabeth Olsen's amazing style for you. And that is exactly how easy it is to do from scratch. And if you wanna make any variations to this, by all means, please do. I mean, you could do so many different things. You could have a different color sweater. You could have a different color coat. The main takeaway from this outfit is the layering. So start with that nice button down shirt. Just add your sweater, add your coat, then add some boots, you know, whether they are Doc Martens or any sort of kind of combat or Chelsea boots. I think that this would be a really cute outfit. Experiment with your pants. I mean, those are straight leg pants, but I'm all about puddle pants right now. And I think that style would have looked really cute with that outfit. And add your cute sunglasses and bam, you've got yourself a cute street style. And as always, please remember to like and follow because you just never know whose outfit I am going to recreate next. So until next time, remember, wear what you want and I will see you on the next episode.